yo, what's up? Hey, today I got this taco salad casserole that I'm about to make. Yo, y'all stay tuned. Let's get it. Boom. All right, yo, we got the green pepper and we about to dice this thing up. Oh, and you definitely got to take this off. You don't want none of that in there. Wouldn't taste good. Dice that thing up. Ah. That's what we good. You got your onion, and we gonna be like, yeah, right there. Bah. All right, now we about to get these patties since I didn't have any ground beef, and we about to put these bad boys in the skillet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, this recipe calls for a pound of beef. What I did was I took these and I put it on a scale and I weighed it. Pretty much what it is is four patties. Four patties. So let's get it. I already got three in there. So what we do is, boom, throw that fourth one in there. Get a little bit of water in there. Get that steam going. Boom. Now you see these patties break down just like any old ground beef. It's just they circular. <laughs> now I add the secret goodness. Yeah, get all that stuff up in there. Mm -hmm. Now I ain't gonna lie. I gotta tell you that after I put the mix in, yo, it is smelling good, good, good. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Time to drain. All right, y'all. Now that I drained it, now I gotta add these uh, taco packets. Y'all see that right there? Yeah. So, let's get this, put this in there, stir till it's thick, and then the next step. Let's go. Now that I got these, I done put it in there. All I gotta do is stir, stir. Okay, now the one thing about this recipe is it told me to drain the juice off the beef, but then it turned around and tell me to put the mix in and then add water. So depending on how you cook it, you can either leave the, leave the, the beef fat in there and put it on top and put the taco seasoning on top of that add just a small amount of water or you could do it the recipe way i was tempted to do it the, my way but i ended up following the recipe so we're gonna see how this how this turned out let's go now that we got the beef set aside we need this eight by eight cooking dish we need this right here, some tortilla chips. And we're gonna crush them up, create a layer right down in there. And we can't forget about this. Get some of that. Spray it up in that pan like that. There we go. Now we back, back in business. Grab some of the chips. And just crush them up. Just a little bit, just to make a, a little layer. Right in there, just like that. We'll get a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, right in there. Boom, like that. It's time for this. Refry beans. We're about to open this up so we can create another layer right up, right around here. All right, you take those refried beans, you put them in a the bowl, and you stir them up just like that. Get a nice consistency right there. 
really nice consistency. May not look, may not look right, but it is right. We gonna get it. Oh, oh. You take that and you start building that layer like that. Boom, boom, boom. Get you some more. And then you continue. Now we're coming in, we get our mixture, get that beef. Yeah, there we go. Get it all up in there. Look at that steam, that steam, baby. Oh, there we go. And we spread that out nice and even. Looking good. Oh my God, I can't wait till I taste this. Ah. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. Right there, nice and even. And of course, got that cheese, got that cheese, baby, got that cheese. Boom. Let's get up in here. We ain't gonna be modest with this one. Oh, there we go. Get up in there, up in there. Spread that out. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, I, you know how I like my stuff. Cheesy, baby, cheesy. Pat that down, pat that down. All right, now we gonna take this and we gonna go in the oven for 375 for 15, 20 minutes. Let's go. It's in the oven, 375 for 15, 20 minutes. And then after we take it out, we get to top it with a little bit more chips, if you like, pretty much whatever you like. This is a recipe off of uh, a website. Hold on, let me get the name of it. RDA Enthusiast Brands LLC. RDA Enthusiast Brands LLC. Got it offline. And I'm about to review this whole thing and let you know my take on it. Now that the 20 minutes is up, now it's time for that reveal. Let's get it, yo! Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, look at that, look at that. Whoa. Now that we pulled it out the oven, we could top it with our lettuce, sour cream, Conte and dig in. Yeah, let's dig in. Oh, I heard that crunch. It's sliding a little bit. Need a little bit of leverage. Just gonna take a sample. Just take a sample and transfer right over there. Taste test. There we have it right there. Boom. Some lettuce. Just just a little bit, because we just gonna do just gonna do just a little bit of a taste. Conte. This is just a test. Taste test. Right there. Sour cream. Let's get it. Yep. There we are right there. Olives right there. Boom. Alright. Now the taste test. Let's go. Ooh. Let's dig in. Boom. Y'all see that? All right, let's go. Ooh, look at that steam, that steam. <laughs> yeah, that's good right there. Couple more. That's right there. Y'all see that? Uh huh. Let's go.
Cut that cheese. Cut the crunch of that lettuce and that saltiness of the, of the olive. Pretty good. Make me want to dance. Mm. 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 <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Can't be scraping the plate. That's crazy. Mm. Mm. For real, this is the real deal. I cleaned it, and it was just a taste. So this wasn't the full meal. So yeah, I can vouch for this taco salad casserole. I can vouch for, for real, for real. <laughs> Let's go. On to the next. Get that some. Whoa. All right. Since I finished that, hit that subscribe button. Hit me in the comments as if you want me to make something. Or if you find a recipe that you that you want my point of view and my take on it because i'll try to make it and let's see where it goes from there and i'm out your boy dollar man let's go Ugh.